Salutations. Kaiser here, and I'll show you a Rome versus Carthage at Arse. I bring a heavy infantry build. It's just, it's just mean when you bring this many Evocati cohorts. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six Evocati cohorts. Pretty much, I will have the infantry advantage no matter what. Not only that, but I bring two Praetorian guards for the courage ability, as well as to keep them from keep them in behind. Uh, you know, as my auxiliary, if I ever need them, throw them into the fray wherever they need. I only bring two auxiliary calf plus my legatus. I think I have one, two, three, four levies. Thought I had more. I guess I don't. I only bring four levies. Those are just in cases as elephants. He does in fact have two, which can be a problem since I only have four of the cheapest skirmishers there are in the game. He he's smart. He stays on the high ground, you know. Just like me, I took the only high ground that's available for the attacker on this map. And but it's just simply I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run up that hill. You you play this map, just don't run up that hill. Doesn't usually work out. At least try and get him to come down here. That way it's not that much of a hill you have to climb up. Not to mention the woods as well, that'll slow your charge. I believe we have a standoff. No one really wants to advance, no one No one wants to take give away their advantage. We'll speed it up because I think it's gets a little slow right now. Yeah, exactly. I'm at triple speed right now, a little standoffish. See, I back up a little bit. I want I want him to get off that hill. That's primarily what I want. And if I could just get into his spearmen and melee infantry, my Evocati cohorts, they just don't have a chance. I want to say I bring my cav up the side. I think I might bring him up each side. See, he's fine. He loses patience. See, about three minutes went by, and he loses patience, brings his men down to almost where it's flat ground. He has a little bit of an advantage still, and if he backs up, He's going to have the advantage again. But, I finally say, you know what, I've had enough. I bring up my units. Speed it up just a tad. Get to some action. Let's see, I split up my Hestati and Praetorian Guard to the left. Meanwhile, bring all my Evocatis to the right. This gives me, my, gives, gives me a two-pronged attack, as well as making my opponent's pikemen near useless with that much spread going on. He does have the five Balearic Slingers. I want to stay out of range with those until the last moment, until I finally charge. You don't want to get hit with those. You could always put it into Testudo. You'll take less damage, but just you stay out of range of the Balearic Slingers. You don't want to get caught up in that. The Carthage Pikemen there, they can be cost effective, but they're just too expensive. Bring the cheapest pikes. All, the, all you gotta do is hold that line. And the pikes, they intimidate people. No one wants to attack a pike line straight up. They always gotta go around the sides. And that's exactly what you have to do. You see, I come around both sides. Try and get these late Libyan hoplites caught up and his cab. If I can get some melee infantry into there, I'll be in good shape. These elephants come up. Perfect opportunity for my levies. I believe I try I send them all four of them attacking it at once. It's the only way they're going to take it down efficiently. Yep, there they go. I don't hit... There it is, finally. Speedy attack. These elephants won't last too long. But, you know, Hestati went down. They're only 350. It's worth it. Another engagement going on over here. Got the mercenary Iberian cav, cav almost gone. Evocati cohorts will just tear up any other infantry. As long as they get the good, good engagement... If they don't get back charged, they'll be in good shape. See, this elephant may, will present a problem. I have no skirmishers over here to fight. To take it out with ease. These elephants are down on this side. And my Evocati cohorts, I mean the uh, Histadi and the Praetorian guards are doing work over here. This guy took a charge from an elephant. It's not, you know, he's, he's hurting, but he's still, he's still encouraged. He's coming up. This Hestati is getting these late Libyan hoplites engaged. And the cav engagement with the mercenary Gallic warriors is turning out not too bad. I think I'll lose my auxiliary cav in that fight, but they're they're cheap, so. 
Bring my Legatus around to the back so I can try and engage these pikemen from behind. It's the only way... It's, it's really the only way to take out pikemen without losing your entire unit. In front, you don't want to attack Pike's front. You just want to have your presence in front of them so they have to stay that way. And my Legatus goes in from behind. Doesn't get that many kills, but does break up the formation pretty well. I back up with my Legatus, try and get another charge in. Levies, I guess Miss Micro here, they're not doing too much work. Actually, I'm probably targeting down this Pike in a gen. But this Praetorian Guard's doing great. Hasn't lost a single man, already killed 88. These Evocatis are not doing too well. These got pretty much beasted by the elephants and pikemen that are over here. Yeah, those those elephants presented a pretty big problem without my skirmishers. If you smart split, put them on both sides. Like, two levies wouldn't have killed the elephant. He could have charged them, made him run away until he caught up and finally took him out. That's why I had to keep them together, just so I could take out at least one of the elephants with these. These Evocati cohort, like I get a back charge in, these Evocatis against the pikemen, they won't last long. This mercenary Iberian swordsman will go down 10 out of 10 of the times against the Evocati cohort. General's bodyguard gets engaged by my, my Legatus. I might go down here, I'm not entirely sure. Which is not good. I get my cav up on the high ground. I could charge these Valeric Slingers if I wasn't. If I was paying attention over on this flank. I believe most of my focus was over here. These elephants that were presenting the biggest problem I had. I try and get the general down. So if I get the general down, the elephants will run amok easier. They'll route quicker. But the way it's going up, I finally get his general routing. Doesn't doesn't go down. He routes. Auxiliary cav charging these Valeric slingers. And my levy is just slowly backing away from these African pikemen, which is just a waste of a pike. He has this slinger's about to go. He's got one slinger left over here, which is not good. I ch charge with this Evocati cohort, try and get some damage. You don't want to charge with more than one unit against an elephant. Just keep him engaged, maybe get a back charge with a different one. Yeah, here I go. Back charge while he's engaged. Do a little extra damage that way. He routes. He's got left is one. Two pikemen. And this Rhodian slinger. He is not in good shape, and I'm about to win. It's well played by my opponent. It just surrounded him. He had, couldn't really do much. He, you know, I miss micro I'm sure he missed micro it's, it's pretty hard. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you around.